Hello again everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am McSnazzy as always and we are back in Timber Gorge once again today. Now today we are going to be building our gift shop. Now this is the last sort of building that we need to build at the main entrance here. And I really wanted to get back here and I kind of uh, hinted at it a little in the last video that there was something built over here when I was doing the real time. Because I, I really got a nice day to sit down this week build a lot at once so you know i finished up the red panda habitat and then i'll then moved over here and tried to tackle this gift shop and y you'll see me go through this i go through a few iterations here uh don't don't fret too much that it looks kind of pretty it doesn't look terrible right now but it doesn't look that great it's gonna look great in the end um this is the first builder i've actually had to use a reference image to sort of get a feel of what i wanted to build here and uh I think it turned out great. It's not a copy by any means of the uh, the building that I referenced, but you know I use it as inspiration to help me with this build because I was really lost, as you can see. I I go through a bunch of weird iterations here where I just kind of throw things down for this roof. I was really happy with the base that I built uh, in a few episodes back when we were doing the start of the those planters here in the main the main uh, courtyard here and uh, I was really happy with the base I kind of wanted to do something with that those concrete uh, walls there I wanted to make them into windows where we're not using just the game windows because I want to build an interior for this gift shop because I kind of wanted it to be the exit that the guests walk through to get out of the zoo but of course that's not possible because they're just gonna walk the uh, shortest amount of distance and this is sort of out of the way but I think um, in sort of a realistic zoo sense, having the guests exit through the gift shop is just another way to uh, make a little bit of money as they're leaving the zoo. So I think that was a realistic aspect to add to this uh, zoo, and I, I like it. It's it's not necessarily super functional in terms of it working within game, but uh, it doesn't matter. It, it looks nice, and that's why I wanted to kind of do an interior to this building. I'm not going to do... A lot of interiors in this series at least I hope I don't because once we start getting a lot of stuff into this zoo it, the frames are gonna start to drop and the performance of the game it is gonna drop and it's just it's inevitable even if you have a fantastic computer this game will get enough stuff in it at some point where you start to slow down but it'll still look great in uh, life or time lapses because it's sped up anyway so you don't really see the frame drop but when we pause it it'll probably be fine anyway when I'm building but with that being said I kind of want to stay away from doing a lot of interiors on the buildings that I'm going to be building in the zoo because you really don't look at interiors all that much you maybe see them once or twice uh, while we're building it and when I make the video and we go and look in it but that's probably the last time we'll ever go and look in it so I don't want to build a lot of interiors for that reason and I also don't want to build uh, super detailed interiors because you know a bunch of props and uh, just a bunch of stuff is gonna slow down the game for a little area that we will really never see because all we're doing is looking at it in big picture or walking around in first person looking at these animals so having a super cool interior gift shop is awesome in theory but in performance later in the game as I tend to or as I'm envisioning having the series last for a long time and we're, we're gonna do a lot with this zoo I want to sort of be proactive in terms of frame rate issues that we may run into in the future. Uh, so with that being said, that's that's what we end up doing. We put a little bit of interior in this puppy. Uh, we're gonna put some of those shops that the guests can buy uh, souvenirs at. We'll put a hats, fantastic. We'll put a Looney Bloons, and we'll put the just a memento. All those little souvenirs that the, the guests can buy. So that they can, uh, you know, come in here and actually use this. Uh, I've had it going for a bit now, but I don't think any guests have actually walked in here to buy anything but maybe uh in the future when we get a ton of guests into the park they will move into here uh as you can see we've done the roof a bunch of times we're kind of kind of stick with this style we do change the color uh i really wanted to do a green like a dark green on this roof just to split up of the monotony of the grays in the really dark colors that we've been using so far 
I, I feel like it's really realistic to lose, use a lot of those grays and neutral colors, and I think it's, you know, something that a lot of uh, designers do when they're just designing these parks or these zoos. You know, you just use a lot of basic colors, etc. Uh, you, you'll get some themed areas where you have pops of color, etc. But, you know, it's just uh, basic building materials, lots of browns, lots of dark grays and blacks, etc. That's really how it goes when you're using stone and wood for a lot of these buildings. So I wanted to get a green roof, but this, uh, I don't know, I wasn't too into this tin. I think it's called the tin roof. I couldn't make it darker. It could only be this bright green. I really wanted a nice dark green sort of uh, color. And I found some that we could color, but they I don't know, they don't turn out as nicely as I'd like them to. And usually I cut a lot of these videos to uh, split up a lot of the changes I make, but this building just changes so much. I kind of want to show the process that I go through uh, when I'm building structures so you kind of see what happens behind the scenes, a lot of stuff that I cut out. And I wanted to make this episode so I could talk a little bit about how we're doing, everything, channel sort of stuff. So in terms of the channel, uh, everything's going great, you know. Uh, we're This is, I think, episode 6 now, and we're just about finished with this front area, and I've been loving it so far. I'm going to upload tons more of this series, don't you worry, but uh, I want to say that I'm probably going to shoot for Mondays and Thursdays as upload days now, uh, weekly. So we can get that out. I was going to just do one a week, but it turned out I was just sitting on a ton of videos because I've really been into it and churning these guys out. So I want to upload as much as I can in a reasonable amount that we're making still good videos, like quality content. But, you know, we're still releasing quite a bit. So I want to use the sort of fire we have right now of this game being new and being exciting to get a lot of videos out early. So we're gonna do twice a week, Monday, Thursdays. Look forward to that. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. I will post at those times. I uh, usually finish them beforehand and then I set them to premiere because YouTube lets you do that. So they'll usually come out on those uh, Monday, Thursdays. So this is the roof we end up going with. I think it looks good. We're gonna adjust the, yeah, we're gonna adjust the look a little bit. Uh, it's going to look a lot better in a second when we put a little bit of embellishment onto those plain, like, cement windows there. But I like how this turns out. I was shooting for sort of a, you know, lodge feel. We're in the middle of a forest, of course, as we've, we've sort of established. We want to do this dense kind of conservation sort of feel. So I wanted to do a little bit of a lodge gift shop that looks pretty cool. And I really like how it turns out. You know, the stone on the bottom, we use these these wood beams across the top to sort of get this going and I like how it like how it turns out I'm happy with the build here we're gonna make a sign here there wasn't a big enough sign to sort of fit what I want to do so I had to use a sign for each letter I could have uh, went back and done those block letters that we used for the front entrance sign uh, I didn't think it was necessary here because I just kind of wanted like a, a hanging sign that really said like gift shop or here because we had to use um, little individual ones we ended up just saying gifts because gift shop would have been too big I wish there would have been a big sign that we could have just said gift shop across that was like really big but still look nice there are some big signs don't get me wrong but they don't always look great for the style I'm going for which is kind of more realistic style and not just like out there at ya, Animal Kingdom sort of Disney-esque uh, craziness. So this is, you know, a basic sign. Gets the job done. Looks nice. Uh, I'm really happy with it. You know, you can do that with your builds too. You can put these plain signs down and if you just put like a little border around it, you use like the wood pieces or just like any sort of piece to make the border look less plain. It, it really pops and it'll help you make uh, better looking designs. Here, are you just looking around a little more? We're gonna start, I'm thinking here of what I wanna do. I'm like, all right, I got all this wood sort of accents already. I might as well just keep this going along these little cement uh, windows that we have going on here. And I was looking for some wall decorations to use. Uh, I, was, I was looking for something cool that would fit. Too bad most of these wall decorations are super themed. And I'm not really going with super themed 
for this gift shop. I wish there was like a lodge theme, like woodsy lodge theme. Uh, then it would work and we could use it as our theme here, but I think the only themes they have right now are like Asian, African, uh, the planet zoo theme. And then there's, I think there's like one more that I'm not thinking of, probably like a castle or something, sandstone sort of stuff, but nothing super wood lodgy feel. So we kind of make our own here as we, as we've been doing in the series so far, we custom make just about every building and just about everything that we do here. Don't use a lot of the prefabs, but that's really what this game is about, getting creative and uh, making a lot of cool stuff. So here we're going to put a little bit of a no entry sign. I kind of wanted to just, you know, put this in here, a little bit of a realistic aspect. Of course, you know, the guests aren't going to enter from here or exit from here because it's out of the way in terms of what their AI is going to do. But in, in a perfect world where everything goes as way I want it to go, uh, they would leave through the gift shop. I don't know how practical that is. I feel like it's a good idea, um, you know, leaving through the gift shop. I know. With a lot of amusement park rides, they'll, they'll dump you out in the, the ride's gift shop at the end. So I thought it would work here for the zoo. And here we're going to fix the front entrance. Those signs are popping out for some reason. I'm surprised I didn't notice that before. But but here we are. We're just going to finish up the front here. Uh, we're going to add um, some awnings to these windows. You know, that I love that little air conditioning piece you can add on the side. I think it looks really great. But we're really going to mess around with these awnings for a little bit because I don't know which one I want to go for. I like the theme ones, but at the end of the day, I think they're just a little too themed and uh, this building didn't really suit it. I wish I had like a nice wood one, but we have that one modern wood one, but I didn't really want to use it here either. So we just use this basic awning here and I'm going to color it dark green, I believe, in the end. And it, it looks good enough. I wanted to put something on these windows because it needs it needs to have something to really pop the window. But I think I think it looks good in the end. And this this week's episode, well not this week's episode, but this episode's gonna be a little shorter, a little bit of a mini one. Because the gift shop didn't take as much time as I thought it would. Uh, thankfully, I cut out a little bit. But here we are, a little fast forward here. Uh, we're gonna put in these uh, nice looking uh, gift shop sort of things and I think I'm gonna put a bathroom in here because we still don't have a bathroom in the park uh, And there's definitely enough space for it But you get a little glimpse of the outside there and we're gonna we're gonna head in here in real time for just a brief moment So we can walk through this uh, Still gonna do the real time at the end of the videos. I uh, haven't really had any yay or nay To which way people like to see the the end of the videos whether it's glam shots or real time So we're just gonna stick with real time for this video again uh, Again, let me know if you don't like it at all, you prefer the glam shots, whatever, doesn't matter to me. Uh, either way, I'm gonna make these videos uh, as appealing as possible. But let's jump into the glam shots now. And here we are in real time, everybody. Welcome back, and I just like how this turned out. I think it fits this area super well. I did a little bit of foliage work there, as you can see, but man, this looks great. It looks like a lodge. It fits our feel really well, our like northern feel. And this uh, the center area is kind of put together. It's the last thing we had to do here. It's awesome. Uh, we should probably touch up this area, but you know, for now, this is really good. I think it looks great. And I'm really happy with it, and I think the theme is just great. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again here, but I just can't stop looking at it. Uh, it was one of those builds that I was kind of stuck on a little bit. It took me a bit to figure out, you know. I, I started it one episode, then came back in the next and finished it. And Yeah, so let's uh, take a moment and look at the rest of the park, because this is sort of a short video we can talk a little bit about. What we want to do, um, this is the waterfall we put in uh, via the comment from Samuel. Thank you for that comment, Samuel. I think it looks great. Uh, the flamingos use it, I believe, so that's awesome. Everything's just looking great. This is the red panda area. This is going to be our nice Asian area. Uh, I think we're going to expand into this area next episode, so stay tuned for that as well. We're going to make an African area sort of this way, I'm thinking, with a lot of the African animals. And then this way. We're gonna, well, I've mentioned this before in a past video that we're gonna put a train up here so you can get to the back of the park, sort of a station at the beginning. I think that's a thing that a lot of zoos have. Uh, I don't think it's gonna look like that, 
but you know that's just what we have now <laughs> just a little sneak peek I'm still working on it uh, I was thinking about what I wanted to do but uh, we're gonna head North American this way with uh, the sort of animals so we're gonna split into a bunch of different zones of what we want we also still need to put in the insect house in the amphibian reptile house and I think for those I want to put some of those smaller animals like the Komodo dragon maybe the saltwater crocodiles within those houses like their habitats within them so the, they're gonna be pretty big and they're gonna house a lot of exhibits and guests are gonna be able to walk through and then I think in the middle we're gonna put those animals we can probably place them right here and here um, respectively and we might go out with like a little plaza that way too that they can be off of just so it's sort of another center way out of the zoo so we don't just get too sp like spidering out in a different directions but overall, I think this looks great as we come back to the main area here. Uh, the lodge feel of this uh, gift shop just is awesome. I'm really happy with it. I was having a hard time doing it, so I'm happy we ended up like this. But I'll end it there. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the feedback and all the support. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And stay tuned on the channel for next episode where we're going to be building another animal exhibit. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.